Just three weeks ago, Bruno Lorette was rallying demonstrators over the murder of an electoral official, an official who was planning to lodge corruption charges against the country's prime minister. Shortly after, the anti-corruption activist was arrested with 46 kilos of hashish in his car. He says it was a setup. We are attaching legitimate weight to what Mr. Bruno Lorette is saying. Since day one, he has been claiming drugs have been planted by the police in his car. Police have not responded to France 24's requests for comment. On the day of Lorette's arrest, a spokesperson for police had urged people not to pin faith in rumors. But several groups have been raising the alarm bell about what they see as a worrying trend. We've been seeing an erosion of the public's trust in key institutions, such as the police and the Anti-Corruption Commission. It seems to me that we're seeing too many coincidences these days. Everything is pointing to attempts at intimidation. This week, a journalist at L'Express newspaper was summoned to police over defamation charges involving Prime Minister Praveen Jagnat. Separately, the Prime Minister has been piling pressure on another journalist at Radio Plus. The outlet has published a series of reports criticizing the authorities. The journalist says he's still receiving threats on social media, despite having complained to the police. Nothing has been done. I'm afraid for my safety. My family is also afraid for its safety. I'm worried that they will fabricate false charges and use them against me. As the situation escalates, opposition parties have been uniting ranks and trying to shore up support. The main opposition party holding a rally in Saint-Pierre, a bastion of support for the prime minister, to condemn a series of incidents that are still unresolved. Among them, the murder of the electoral official, which Bruno Lorette had denounced. 